Hello, uh, I'm Chelsea Petal with Circle Space Empowered End of Life Planning. I am an end of life consultant and death doula and your facilitator for getting comfortable with death. And I'm just so excited to welcome you to uh, this workshop that's going to be taking place in just a few days. I want to thank you so much for viewing this welcome video. And here you're going to find all of the information that you need to get ready for our workshop. So this workshop, it's all about how to prepare your personal comfort wishes, the things that would bring you and your loved ones physical, emotional, and spiritual comfort through illness and the dying process. We're gonna be using this resource, my personal comfort plan, just make sure that you can see it. Um, please check your email because uh, you're gonna be receiving this booklet in an ebook format by email for use uh, during this workshop. So check your email to, uh, to get your ebook version of my personal comfort plan. So this booklet, it is um, a guide and a checklist to help you define your personal comfort wishes and to share them with the people who will be caring for you. I'm really happy to say that over the last year, this little booklet has sold across Canada and the US, um, even in Australia, and most recently in the UK. The information that's in it is universal. It can be used in any setting or jurisdiction. And that's because it's all about comfort, something that we as patients and participants in our healthcare systems actually have some control over. So in this workshop, um, we're also going to be exploring why you might want to include personal comfort wishes and personal comfort planning in your death care practice um, and how you could use some of the activities that we're going to do together in this workshop with your clients. So I have crafted uh, four specific learning outcomes for this workshop that I'd like to tell you about now so that you know what it is that you're getting into. So by the end of this workshop, my hope is that you will be able to define your own personal comfort wishes using the My Personal Comfort Plan ebook. So this really is the most important part of our time together because we can just learn so much by doing through the act of, of doing. So you will get to know My Personal Comfort Plan by using it yourself and also by reflecting on the same questions that you'll eventually be asking your own clients. Uh, learning outcome number two, by the end of this workshop, you will be able to explain the importance of including personal comfort wishes in advanced care planning. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my hope is that by participating in this workshop, you will feel inspired to offer personal comfort planning as a part of your death care offerings. I really feel that in our role as uh, death doulas and death care practitioners, um, it, it really involves so much education. We really are key players in initiating this culture shift towards death positivity and preparing for end of life. So it follows that you will need to be able to explain to your clients why exploring personal comfort wishes is a vital step in the advanced care planning process. So you'll have some time to do that uh, in our workshop together. Learning outcome number three, by the end of this workshop, you're gonna be able to define different approaches to personal comfort planning, depending on what stage your client is in. So whether that is uh, pre-planning, maybe they have a serious or terminal diagnosis, or maybe they're already in the active dying phase. As doulas, uh, one of our strengths is that we meet people where they are at in their journey. So the way that we talk about personal comfort planning must evolve depending on where our client is at, what they are experiencing and what their needs are. So in this workshop, we're gonna explore different ways to initiate conversation and different activities that we could use to support comfort planning across the life and death span. And finally, learning outcome number four, by the end of this workshop, you are gonna be able to share creative ideas 
for how your clients can find comfort from within themselves and also with their loved ones and their caregivers. So this is my favorite part of the workshop. Uh, in our time together, you're gonna to be experiencing a number of interactive activities. Activities that you will be able to use with your clients in your private practice. So this workshop, it's really about skill building and learning about activities that you can add to your death doula toolbox. So I also wanna be clear that this is going to be a whirlwind workshop. It's only um, five hours in total that we'll be spending together over these two sessions, but it's going to give you the foundation that you need to start preparing to offer personal comfort planning in your practice. Yes, um, there is gonna be some more work for you to do on your own after the workshop, like continuing to use the My Personal Comfort Plan booklet and getting familiar with the activities if you choose to use them. But this workshop is going to give you an overview of the information you need to start personal comfort planning. So in all of my workshops, uh, I like to create a group agreement to guide us in how we interact. So I have a few guidelines that I'm gonna share with you now but also, if I've missed anything that's really important to you, please just send me an email and I'll be sure to include uh, that guideline uh, when we go over our group agreement together in the workshop setting. So these ground rules, they're going to guide us when we are in group conversation or breakout rooms, and they'll also guide us um, when we're using a written format like the chat box or um, discussion boards. So here they are. By participating in this workshop, you agree to the following group agreement. One person speaks at a time. Speak and listen from the heart and with respect. Welcome diverse views and listen without judgment. Offer experience rather than advice. Share what is personal, not what is private. Honor confidentiality. Self-regulate your airtime, how much or how little you speak. And finally, take chances. Use this opportunity to really stretch your comfort zone and be on the leading edge of your learning. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about how you might use my personal comfort plan booklets and the activities from this workshop in your personal practice. So this is a bit of the legalese stuff. So please excuse um, the formality of the language in this part. But it's really important that in our death caring community that we have each other's backs and that we honor the work of content creators like myself by using these resources respectfully. So typically, uh, the kind of information you're gonna be getting um, an overview of in this workshop would be part of a licensed program, being trained in how to use a particular tool or resource or um, specific curriculum and activities. But I, I don't wanna get bogged down in licensing and in annual fees and things like that. Um, because really, I, I just want as many people as possible to start personal comfort planning because I truly believe that this is a gap in the system that doulas can fill. And it's part of my mission to help build our capacity to do that. So here's some things you need to know about using my personal comfort plan after this workshop. The first one, um, all intellectual property rights for my personal comfort plan booklets and the getting comfortable with death workshop content are owned by Circle Space. So though you may use my personal comfort plan booklets and the activities from this workshop in your personal practice, the rights to this content remain with circle space. So that's a simple one. Um, the second one, please do not alter or adapt my personal comfort plan for your own purposes or publications. And that just basically means I ask that if you choose to create your own resource about personal comfort planning, uh, please create original content or cite circle space as the originator of the information that you are using. Number three, 
uh, Circle Space grants you permission to use the activities you experience in the workshop uh, it, with your private clients. So this could be uh, the comfort meditation, the end of life visualization, rituals, the questions, the prompts, etc. I really want you to integrate these activities into your practice with your clients. So I really hope that you will find them to be useful. That being said, please uh, don't offer personal comfort planning workshops for the public using content from this workshop. Um, I've been fortunate in that I haven't experienced this yet myself, but I have been a part of courses where participants have copied the PowerPoint presentation and the agenda and then presented the workshop as their own. So if you do wish to offer a workshop uh, on my personal comfort plan, please just reach out to me and I'm super happy to discuss it and, and how we might be able to support each other and work together. Um, so just reach out and connect around that. And number five, uh, finally, please just recognize Circle Space as the creator of this content and my personal comfort plan in all of the activities that you do that's related to personal comfort planning. And I'm gonna email you a Circle Space logo to help with that acknowledgement. Okay, so thanks for getting through that part with me. If you have any questions about these terms, um, please send me an email or give me a call before our workshop because we're not gonna be going over these particular terms together uh, when we meet. Um, all of this information, including the overview of these particular terms and everything that's in this video, uh, is gonna be sent to you by email as well. And in that email, there is a workshop agreement form that I'll ask you to um, indicate your agreement with these terms by signing that document and returning it to me by email. And it's really important that uh, you do this before our workshop to send that signed document back to me by email before we get together. Well, my hope is that by the end of this workshop, you are gonna say personal comfort planning, where have you been all my life? And that you're going to want to share these booklets and these activities with your clients to help them create their own personal comfort wishes. That is my hope. So let's get to the good stuff, the stuff that you are going to need to prepare for attending the workshop. So there's a few things that you're gonna to need to have with you. The first is uh, the My Personal Comfort Plan ebook. The next is the End of Life Visualization Worksheet that's sent to you uh, by email as well. And then also please have on hand an item that reminds you of a deeply well-loved one who has, who has died, or it could be an ancestor. So this could be a photo, a trinket, an item of clothing, maybe um, some food that is of significance. So this is gonna be used uh, for a ritual activity that we're gonna be doing together. You're also gonna need a candle and matches a pen and notepad, and then also something to drink, a snack, a shawl, um, any other items you might need for your self-care and comfort, because we're gonna be going straight through for our uh, two and a half hours together. So thank you so much for tuning in to this welcome video. Um, it's really gonna help us to hit the ground running when we get together. Please send me an email with any questions that you might have and remember to return your signed agreement to me before the workshop. I look forward to the laughs that I know that we're gonna have and also to the incredible bonding and the learning that we're gonna be doing together. So thank you so much and see you soon.